Llama CPP is the underlying inference engine used to run LLMs in tools like Llama. I've always found it a bit fiddly to install directly, especially when I wanted to get GPU support on my Mac M1, but not anymore because we can now install it with brew. So we do brew install, g gurganov forward slash g gurganov forward slash llama cpp. And this will install two tools. So we'll have llama hyphen cli and we'll have llama hyphen sub. So let's start by having a look at llama cli and you can see it comes back with the help. What we're most interested in is the model. So let's go down to there and you can see we can pass in a local model path for a GGUF file or we can pass in a remote path to a hugging face repository or to a hugging face file. We're going to use a GGUF model of the Mistral 7B LLM created by the bloke. Now GGUF is a format for quantizing large language models so that they can run on consumer hardware. So it's effectively LLMs for the GPU poor. If we then look on this page for provided files, we can see a list of all the different quantization that the bloke has done. And we're going to pick the one in the middle. So we'll do the Q4 underscore K underscore M. So if we click on that one, we can then click on this download link and it'll put it into our downloads folder. Let's now call the Llama CLI tool. We'll pass in the path to our model and then we're going to pass in a prompt. So we're going to say, write me a poem of a maximum of three verses about Mistral AI. And you can see it takes a second or so and then it starts writing out this poem. It looks reasonably good to me. And at the end, it will then print out the tokens per second that were used. Now we can also use the llama server command. So let's just update that, get rid of the prompt uh, and the color command, and then let's run that. And you see this launches a server on port 8080, and this is an OpenAI API compatible server. And so what this means is that we can pretty much go and take any OpenAI example and use it and it's going to work. So let's call the chat completions uh, endpoint and then we're going to pass it in a model. So we'll say the model is nothing. It doesn't matter. You can put anything there. And then we're going to pass in some messages. So we'll tell it you're a helpful assistant and I want you to write me a sonnet about OpenAI. Then we're going to pipe the result into JQ so we can have a look at the response. And you see, give it a couple of seconds and it comes back. So you can see in here, we've got under, con under choices, message, content, we've got a poem that it's generated for us. That's kind of tricky to read. I find it's easier with uh, OpenAI API models to use the OpenAI uh, PyPI library. So let's install that. And then we'll launch the IPython REPL. We're gonna import OpenAI I and we'll import the time module so we can time how long it takes. And then we're gonna initialize the OpenAI client. You need to make sure the base URL is localhost 8080 forward slash v1. API key needs to be there, but put whatever you want in there. It doesn't matter. And now we're going to call the chat completions create function. Again, model doesn't matter. Messages will tell it you're a poet with a great turn of phrase as the system message. And we're going to say the user message is write a limerick of three verses about Anthropic and OpenAI. And we're going to tell it we want the result to be streamed. We'll then capture the start time and we'll iterate over the chunks in the stream, printing them out capture the end time and then print the time that it took to generate the poem. And you can see it comes back. So it's got a poem about Anthropic and OpenAI and you can see at the bottom it took three and a half seconds to generate. So I don't think I'm going to stop using Alama and replace it with this, but it's always cool to learn about new ways of running LLMs locally. If you liked this video, check out this one up here where I showed how to run GGUF models using Llama file, which is another tool for running LLMs locally.